This is Scrappy Ramirez, Inner City Legend. At the age of eight, I moved to Honduras with my father. Um, I was out there from age eight to 12. Then at the age of 12, I came back and that's when really life hit, you know? Came back at 12, now my connection with my mother ain't there. Um, my father ain't there. Now I ain't got no one to tell me what to do, you know, because my, my mom too busy trying to make things happen. Now I'm my own boss. I'm, I'm, I'm over here doing what I want to do, you know? And I made a lot of bad mistakes. But again, everything happens for a reason. So I didn't complain, I didn't cry, I found a way. So that was part of growing up. It, it, it was hard just not having my father and then not having my mother and trying to choose, like, who do you want to go with? I want both of y'all, you feel me? The first two years in boxing, I didn't have no trainer. I didn't have no nothing. It was just me, myself, and I. But because of my foundation, I was able to make things happen. I already knew how to, how to deal with that. Other than that, self-belief, hard work, and dedication will get you there. The coaches, the football coaches, I think they played a big part. Um, again, I didn't have a person to tell me what to do or like to show me the way, you feel me? Like I left my father when I was 12. So really I was on my own trying to figure things out. And I think Coach Matt did a great job. So shout out to Coach Matt, man. That man really uh, made something special. Hey, y'all see the whole, y'all see the accomplishments? You guys see the rings? Y'all see the banners? Man, we did that. Like, being the face of football, that's dope. I think that's, that's like, the special one. That one hits home. That's one of them. Then the second one, it'll be the Bernstein Basketball well, CIF Champions 2015. We got the ring. I think that one super dope. It's the first, the first ring, the first championship. You guys see it? I lost my my first brother to to the system. Um, he's been in and out out of prison. That was like the person I looked up to. Like that's the person I'm trying to be. Like you feel me? Like one of my rituals. Like I used to uh, close my eyes and I used to think about him being on the top left bleacher. You know, him watching my football games. And I used to tell him every time I used to write him. I'm like, hey, bro, every, before the games, I think about you and I put you on the top left bleacher, you know? Now, towards my family, I, my, mom, my mother was pretty proud. Um, at one point, me and her didn't have a connection, you know? Thanks to Coach Matt and the letter, she got to understand more of me, who, who, who I was as a, as a person, and I got to understand her because we weren't communicating, you know? I didn't think she loved me, but she did, you know. She wasn't supporting because she was working all night trying to get, trying to keep the food on the table, trying to keep the light. You know what I'm saying? So she wasn't able to show me, but she made the commitment to show up to every game. And uh, I think that right there kind of like made her proud. You feel me? And now the level I'm moving on now, that's that's making her even proud. Which, by the way, she's my number one fan. Scrappy, as a student, uh, like I said, he attended one of the other schools here on campus, Apex. So you know, they you know really took a little more interest into him and helping him out with his grades. But you know, his grades uh, by his junior and senior year were 3.0 or better. Um, and like I said, he was a uh, two-sport athlete here. You know, did football and basketball. He's part of our uh, uh, two uh, city championship teams. Um, so like I said, you know, has has a couple rings for for boys basketball. But like I said, just an amazing uh, young man. Like I said, it's just uh, great to see uh, you know what he's done with his life so far, and and hopefully you know bigger and better. Yeah, man, looks good. I like ours a little better, but yeah, 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 just a little bigger. No, I know. <laughs> It is what it is, man. Everyone's still 
call him Scrappy. Oh, yeah. You oh, yeah. Hey, you know what's a funny story? Um, so my first tattoo was Scrappy, is is on my chest, right? And my one of my teachers said, uh, she basically said I was a dumbass for getting my nickname tatted, cause after high school, no one, no one's gonna call me Scrappy. They're gonna call me by my name. Now, hey, that's the camera right here. Now, where's he at now? Cause the whole world called me Scrappy. What's he got to say? You feel me? How you been, yo? I ain't seen you in a minute, man. I'm like, hey, they're like, hey, we gotta come, we gotta come to Burns. I'm like, bet, I got, we gotta talk to Owusu. That's my bet. I'm so proud of you. What you doing? Thank you, man. Right? Yeah, yeah. Attitude and everything. I'm very proud of you because I know a lot of our kids, a lot of kids look up to me. A lot of them look up to me. So if they see Scrappy doing something positive, they're gonna do something positive, and that's why I'm really excited about this man and what he's doing in his life right now. He kept it real since day one, you know what I'm saying? Like, again, a person I could ask a good question, is I'm gonna get the real, you know what I'm saying? No judgment, that's him right here since middle school. Person I could always come talk to. And I was in Apex, different, different academy. I had nothing to do with him, you know what I'm saying? But he's just so real, I had to keep him around, you know? And that's the person I could, I could talk, had a real conversation, you know? No judgment, you know? And uh, yeah. Special, my man holds a special spot. Appreciate that, man. Thank Game you, changer. Appreciate you, man. How you doing, brother? Good to see you, man. Everybody knew Scrappy was special. Everybody knew it. It was like, it was one of those things where we just knew that with a little bit of push, a little bit of help, you know, a little bit of just understanding. Some guidance. Yeah, it's like he would make it. We knew he was going to make it. We didn't, we didn't even, it wasn't even a, a, a doubt. We knew he was going to make it. You know, we knew that he'd come back and show these kids, like, you know, what hard work means. You show these kids, like, you know, if you, if you, if you, if you put your mind to it, you can make it. Because a lot, of, a lot of students in this area, they don't feel like they can make it. And you, and you got to keep showing them. And, you, and you're doing it. You're showing them exactly what happens when you believe in yourself. We'll keep showing Don't accept limitations and man. do what you got to do. You yes, know what I mean? yes, sir. Appreciate you, man. So, Come on, man. It's all Let's do it. I just showed you guys part of my story. There's still a lot to write. Tune in May 14th. It's the Scrap Show.